Hey guys, what's up? So there have been a lot of things pop up in my recommended section that I didn't even ask for. For instance, crackhead videos. I don't know why they were recommended to me, but did I watch them? Yeah. Today I saw a bunch of life hack videos recommended to me. I was stuck until I was like, I'm gonna do a life hack video for you guys. I've never tried a life hack video on my channel, so I don't really know how this is gonna go or if you guys are even gonna like it. So that means let me know what you think. I stumbled across this channel called 123Go. They look like they do a bunch of prank compilations and life hack videos. They just started a month ago and they're already getting millions of views, so I guess this, this is the thing. So today I'm gonna try one of them and see what happens. Uh-oh. Looks like we have a little peekaboo situation on our hands. Yikes, could my earring studs be of any help? If you have one, take an earring stud and pierce it through your shirt like this. Don't forget to slip the back onto it. Okay, I think the first one's really cool just because I always wear earrings, so I'm curious to know if this will keep my shirt closed for me. So first, we gotta go put on a shirt. Well, this is the shirt that I found. It shows a lot of cleavage, but I don't really have that much to show, so let's just cover up these nothings. I do have an earring. Bam! It said to just pin it. Simple enough. Oh my god, I'm having so much trouble pinning this. Ah! Okay, I got it. It looks like I'm missing a button, and also, if I move too much, the little clip on the back of the earring comes off. Okay, let's try this one more time. Maybe I'm not doing this right. Okay, yeah. I mean, it works, but we do have a little problem. If I move my shirt to open, the earring's just gonna fall out. I'm gonna say no. What's a girl gotta do to get a nice tush around here, huh? Try these. It's way easier than squats. Ah, nice and tight. Now, pinch a piece over each of your butt cheeks and snip snip. Pull up your pants and see the magic for yourself. Wow, that's a pretty major difference. But not too much that it looks fake. So this is my butt before. So let's make this flat booty big booty. So I got these tights from the dollar store. Which way do these go? I have no idea how to put on tights. I don't wear these. All right, I'm gonna do my best. I'm pantless, by the way. Okay, so it says to take some scissors and basically Regina George this shiz. I'm trying not to cut my butt. There's a hole where my butt is. That's literally it. What the heck? I don't know if I could show you guys this part or not. I have two holes where my butt is. Oh god, my window's open. Okay, so my butt is hanging out, so now we're just gonna put my leggings back on. All right, leggings back on. I mean, I think what's happening. Okay, there's a little difference. It's subtle, like the hack said. Yeah, I, I guess it worked. Oh, right on the knee. Oh man, that's pretty bad. I think I may have something that'll help. Oh, a tampon. For this hack, you'll need a tampon without the applicator or any packaging. Unravel it completely so that it turns into a wide, fuzzy strip. Put it right over your wounded knee. No. I'm not doing that. To me, that is the dumbest hack I've ever seen. Why don't you just put the band-aid on the cut? Oh, look at her hair. That bob is to die for. Oh, man. Those cuts are way better than my boring do. If you feel this way too, have no fear, a light spritz is near. Once your hair is damp enough, snag an old pair of tights like this. In one swift move, give yourself a headband like so. One strand at a time, wrap your hair up and over the headband, just like Helly is doing. Keep going until all your hair is wrapped around this thing. Next, blow dry while it's still wrapped up. Make sure the blow dryer is in a warm setting, but not too hot. Once it feels like your hair is nearly completely dry, go ahead and unravel the strands of hair from your headband. Ooh, look at those beach waves. So beautiful. All right, so I got my pantyhose in my hair. Okay, first of all, how did I get it up in that little bun thingy? I feel like we're playing a, a weird game right now. <laughs> and I guess this just goes up in like a weird ball so it's not in your way. <laughs> hey, I did it and it's cute. Oh, all right, that should stay. Wait, does she like wrap it around? Oh my god, I forgot to spray my hair! I put water in this because it was completely empty, so we'll just, we'll spray. Another life hack. 
Okay, now my hair's damp. This is kind of pointless because my hair is already curly, but we're gonna see if it makes it curlier, you know? Did the best I could, now I just look like a space cadet. I, I don't know. My natural pieces, they're a little wavier than they once were. I think that it would work. I don't see why it wouldn't. Like I said, my hair was already curly. I say it works and it makes a cute hairdo with the pantyhose. Getting ready for a night out? That means heavy eyeshadow, a dark lip, and of course, a lot of heavy foundation. Yikes, that's some caked on makeup. Wait, I think I know just the thing. Fill up a big bowl with water. Make sure it's not too hot, not too cold. Make sure to fill it all the way to the tippy top. Okay, now this next part is going to sound super crazy. Take a deep breath and dunk your head straight into the bowl of water. Don't worry, your makeup won't get ruined. See? Still intact. Snag a paper towel and gently pat your cheeks, forehead, and everywhere in between. Make sure to soak up all the excess water off your skin. Cake-free is the way to be. Have fun tonight, Vicky! I actually have a foundation that can really be powdery if I'm not careful, so we're going to use the It Cosmetics CC Cream and then my powder on top of it. Did one side of my face, as you can see, this side, and I still gotta put some powder on. We're gonna layer this powder on just like as if we have been wearing our makeup all day and we needed to touch up. Hey guys, I don't know if you can tell, hopefully you can, the light is really blinding me. My face, it looks very powdery in the mirror, so we are going to dip our face in the water. Alright, so I have my hair back, but I need to put back like these weird little pieces somehow. I don't have a headband. Oh my god, I know what to use. Heck yeah, dude. Headband. Looks like I'm a dog. Love it. I have my bowl of water, and we're going to see if it makes this side less powdery. Let's go. No, wait, how long do I have to stay in here for? I'm actually scared of water. Ugh. Let's see if it worked. Guys, I'm not even kidding. Get a load of this. It looks smooth now. I... I'm impressed! Honey, life hacks. Nothing like a nice bold lip to make your look really pop, right? Meh, too bold. That's okay, let's try something a little lighter. Okay, now that's too orange. If you need a more subtle lipstick look, try adding concealer. Simply take the concealer wand and place tiny little dots along the outside of your lips. Now smudge the dots out and dab them into your lip line. Since the concealer is your exact skin tone, it'll blend right in. See? There you go! The perfect subtle lip. This look is great for when you don't want to go bold, but you also don't want to go completely bare. Okay, for this one, all we're gonna need is dark lipstick and concealer. It's going to wash me out. Oh shoot, I just ashed up. That's a look. Whoa. Okay, now we're just going to smudge it into the lip line to see if it gives us this natural thing that this girl has going on. I don't know if this is working. If anything, it looks like it's changing the color of the lipstick. All right, I kind of just look like I did a bunch of heroin. Oh, are you serious? I'm gonna go clean this up and see if this has potential to be anything. I don't think that this works. Have you ever had this happen to you? You're in the middle of applying your eyeliner when you suddenly realize you're all out of the stuff? Come on, seriously? Okay, this one has got to have a little left in there. What? This is probably the most frustrating thing on the entire planet. Wait a minute, I think I have an idea. Now that you have a cup of hot water, pop those empty eyeliner bottles in there. Now all you have to do is wait. Give it about five minutes before you take the bottles out of the water. You can do the rest of your makeup while you wait. Okay, they seem about ready. Careful, they're hot. Would you look at that? Just like magic, they work again. Now you can finally finish that sexy cat eye you rock so well. Okay, for this one, I got my eyeliner. That is the Kat Von D. Yeah, there's nothing left of it. I don't use this anymore. And we have our cup of steaming hot water. So we're gonna put our eyeliner in the cup of hot water. See what happens. Okay, guys, it's been a few minutes, so let's test if it works. It worked! All right, guys, that was all for today's video. Let me know if you liked these videos, and I'll keep doing them. They were really fun. Make sure you comment down below what your favorite life hack was, and if you tried any of them, let me know if they worked for you or if they didn't work for you. As always, guys, like the video. Let's get it to 
3K likes. Make sure you have my post notifications on. And yeah, I think that's it for today. I love you guys. And I'll see you in